Okay, and welcome back. Okay, if you recalled, the last thing we did was drill out uh, this hole. And I found that I do have a 7 16 for when you do the valve seat grinding uh, guide. This is a straight up 7 16 I have it oversized as well. So I have a very small adjustable hand dreamer. Came from Shars. Got a little set of them in a wooden box. I have adjusted that to about a thousandth over 7 16 So let's run this down the hole. Oh, wrong end. Those are the wrenches to adjust it. So let's start it down in. Very little resistance. Just enough that it's cleaning. Go nice and slow. Let me get over here so you can see what we're doing. Nice and slow. Only turning clockwise. And we're going to put this down. Until it goes through. Okay. Now when you pull these out, you continue to turn clockwise. Okay, now there was still cutting oil in there. Okay. I'm gonna take just a little bit of maybe there's a day in there. Let's take this guide here, put just a little bit of oil on it. Look at there. So we are basically about a thousandth over. And this is a valve guide. There's, it's extremely close, now it's stuck. All right, so we have a little wrench here to pull them out. I don't think a one thousandth over might go in there. Now, if a person had a seven sixteenth stem valve, you could just leave it alone. I guess we could probably find one. But curiosity, I would almost like to put the stone on there and see if we're in center before I do all that work. We'll see. Welcome back to Solar City Garage and we're still on the Model T motor here. Um, working on the valve guide. I took uh, that bronze valve guide and uh, made it uh, about three thousandths oversize. I left some tiny 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 real fine little ridges in it. I didn't polish it because when I drive this in I want it to go in. And uh, we are going to, I tapered the end here a little bit, just a few thousandths just to help it start in. I'm going to leave this piece on the end here to use to drive it in. Then after I get it in I'll take a drill, a pretty large drill bit, and go down through and drill, and that should come off. So if not, we always thought it should have. So, all right, we'll be back in a moment. We'll get ready to pop her in there. Okay, folks, we're back. First thing I'm going to do is take some brake cleaner and clean out that hole. I've also got a little brush here. Just want to get any of those cast iron shavings out of there, okay? Just like so. We'll dry that out. So wipe off our guide here too. But I am going to put just a little bit of little bit of oil in there. 
on the guide. We're going to start it down in the hole. Okay, we're just going to take this 3 8 punch. It's getting pretty solid. There. She's clear down and it's sticking out just a little bit on that side. So that went in pretty nice. Now what I'll do is I'll take a drill with a large bit in it, drill down through that, and that should drill that top off from there. And we'll go from there. Be right back. All right, so I took this drill with a half inch bit in it, drilled down through, and then this little collar just broke off. So the guide is left in the block. Now what I plan on doing, we're gonna set this down to this top, is taking a tapered punch and sledging each end of that guide. After we vacuum out the shape, 